Hey YouTube, it's me Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted you to do an updated review and like a wear and tear video for the Louis Vuitton Insulate Wallet. And um, I've had this wallet for at least three years now. I was kind of too lazy to get the receipt, so whoops. <laughs> but I know I have like a unboxing or something like that. <laughs> my cat, that's a Louis Vuitton box sugar. Sorry for the mess. Um, but yeah, so I did, I think, like a little review on it. But I wanted to do an update it because I wanted to do, like, wear and tear on it. So, we all know what the Insulate Wallet is. Mine has a leopard pink inside. And this wasn't a limited edition at the time. So you can't find this anymore. But it's still the Insulate Wallet. It's basically the same. It's just the inside is different. And it um, has six card holders. I don't know if you'll even be able to see them. And then like a little pocket right here. And then there's another more. And then so on this side where the little buttons are, there's a zip pocket and behind there's a pocket back there, which I don't really keep anything ever back there. But the zipper's really nice. And I keep um I keep like a little piece of paper like an envelope style so if I put anything in there it's not rubbing against the inside to making it dirty I'll just leave that up. so the zipper is really nice now because sometimes the zippers are really stiff at first so let's go on to the other side there's a pocket back there which I don't put anything either and then they have this zipper pocket up here let me close it pocket right here and I keep most of like, my money in here because I don't want to keep opening and closing it because eventually it will get cracks down here. And this has two, um, what is this, zipper poles. So, and then I have, ooh, let me try to get it out. I have this plastic piece in there so I do put my money and some change in there so I keep this in there just to protect it I totally recommend it because it doesn't do anything I just it was just like a little plastic folder I really recommend it so the inside of your wallet doesn't get like dirty and gross so basically I don't know to keep its value so it's just one big pocket I usually put like extra cards and um, money in this pocket and I love that it has it zips down so it opens wider so wear and tear, I haven't been getting very much wear and tear, but there's some um, kind of like cracking or where like this finish is kind of like chipping a little. Yeah, chipping. It's just very slight. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. Probably not. Very chipping just slightly right there. Um, I think I have a dirt spot. Ooh, I have a lot of dirt spot over here. Right in this little corner. You know what, I think I might try to get like a baby wipe just to try to clean it, but wish me luck, hopefully I don't ruin it. But, and um, on those zippers, there's wear and tear. Like you'll see like the, some scratching and stuff. Which that's normal wear and tear. Honestly, I've almost used this the straight three years that I've had it, but mine looks in very good condition. Because I'm not hard on it at all. Because when I think of this piece in particular, is that it's a limited edition. And that if I ever wanted to sell it, I think I would get a decent amount of money just because of the inside. I mean, who doesn't love this leopard and pink? So, I don't know. I think for my first Louis Vuitton wallet, it wasn't like the most practical one. But it's definitely like ever, forever going to be my favorite. And so I don't store it like this in my bag. I actually always keep it in the dust bag. And you can see how dirty this dust bag is. Imagine if it this all this dirt and like there's like water spots on this and all that got on your wallet. Like I don't know, maybe I'm just very like meticular, but I want to keep my stuff nice because I spent a lot of money on it and so do you guys. So like this stain right here protected my wallet and then like it's 
I should probably wash this, but I don't know if it would shrink. But it just has some dirt to it and some spots. I just can't imagine if all that dirt and stains would have got on my wallet. I would have just been really upset. So I always keep it in that. And I like when, um, say you're checking out, you could always, like, pull out your wallet and then put, if you need to open your wallet completely flat, you could put it on the dust bag so it doesn't get on whatever surface. So I think that's a good idea because it's about the same size. Just to keep it clean and just in best condition as possible. I mean, mine doesn't have very much wear and tear. Of course, I'll keep updating this. Um, but even my... I don't know what these sides called, but I know you get them like re refinished. But none of mine are cracking so far. They're all pretty good. So, well, that's my little update, little review for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I recommend keeping it maybe in your desk bag and then putting this little insert in if you want to put use cash just because so the inside doesn't get dirty okay so um look out for more videos i'm really getting into it i'm really enjoying the whole doing videos and also i love doing reviews because i'm very new to like the whole like designers and i just want to do my best to help like the newbies like me just because all the other videos have helped me so much and i just want to help other people out there so Check out my other videos, um, like, comment, subscribe, and whatever you want. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I think my next video might be a review on the Neverfull MM. And yeah, so have a good day, guys. Bye.